we're told to graph the image of quadrilateral JKLM, right over here, JKLM, after a reflection over the line y is equal to negative x. And then we want to describe the reflection in coordinate notation. So pause this video, have a go at it, then we'll do this together. All right, so first let's visualize the line that we're reflecting over. The line y is equal to negative x looks like this. y equals negative x looks like this. Some of you might already know the transformation, but I am going to try to remember what it is and not just tell you what the transformation is. So if we're reflecting over this line, y is equal to negative x, let's imagine, let's imagine this point over here, the point zero comma, actually let me do a point that actually has a non-zero coordinate here. So let's say this point right over here, which is the point one comma two. Well, let's just think about where it would end up. So if we were to reflect over this line, you go straight to that line and you'd go the same, you'd go the same distance across this line. So you're going to go right over to this point right over here. And what is this point? This is negative two, negative one. And this helped me remember, I didn't prove this, I didn't prove what the transformation is, but it helped me remember what it is, because what just happened? The new x coordinate is the negative of the old y coordinate, and the new y coordinate is the negative of the old x coordinate. So if I were to write this in coordinate notation, my new x is the negative of the old y, and my new y is the negative of the old x. And you could validate that with other points if you like. Some of you might have already known this as the transformation when you reflect over the line y is equal to add negative x. But I always like to try it out with a point before I go all in. So now let's just do that transformation for each of these points. So let's start with this point right over here, which is at the point five comma negative three. Well, if we take the negative of the y that goes to positive three, positive three, and then the negative of the x is negative five. So this will map to this point over here. So I'll write that negative three comma, sorry, sorry positive three, positive three, negative five. All right, three more to go. Let's do this point. This is the point two, two comma, and this is getting a little bit messy, but I'll try to keep track of things. This is the point two comma negative six. So I'm going to map that, I'm gonna swap these and make them negative. So it's gonna be positive six and negative two. So it's going to go over here. All right, two more to go. This point over here is negative one, negative six. Well, I swap them and make them the opposite. So then I go to six comma one. Six comma one is going to be right over there. And then last but not least, let me do this in uh, this, well, let me do this in finding the colors is the hardest part. Right over here, this point is at negative one comma negative three. So if you swap them, it's going to go to positive and make them negative, it's going to go positive three and then positive one. So it's going to go to this point right over there. And then we just connect the lines. So we get that, we get that, we get that, and then we get this. And there you have it. We've graphed the quadrilateral JKLM after reflection over the line y equals negative x. And you can visually see that, that it is the reflection over that line. And so this transformation served us well.